Welcome back to the kitchen. This is Twin Cities Adventures and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make sticky garlic pork chops. First thing we're going to do is make our sauce and we're going to need one quarter cup of brown sugar, one quarter cup of rice vinegar, one quarter cup of fish sauce, A big splash of soy sauce. One big splash of ketchup. A splash of extra virgin olive oil. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. And a good pinch of pepper. Now we'll just mix that up really good. <clears throat> We'll take our big, thick cut pork chops here and we'll put those in there. You can put the lid on this and let that sit for a couple hours or overnight if you'd like to. But I'm just going to make this right here, right now, because we want our dinner. Now we need to take our pork chops after they marinated for a couple of hours. Or you could do it just right out of the marinade here. And we're going to sear these guys on both sides for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes on this side. And we'll flip it over. Now we have a nice caramelized blackened coating on this side. That's exactly what we want. So we'll do five minutes. On the other side, I'm going to just keep that turned down to medium here. Okay, and that's been five minutes on the other side now. Let's take a look at that. Perfectly cooked on both sides. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is take our sauce and we're just going to pour that right over the top of it. And we're gonna put that on medium low. And we're just gonna continue to cook that on medium low. And we're gonna turn that until that reaches the perfect consistency. That sauce will thicken up. So we're gonna cook that until it reaches about 145 with the thermometer and the internal uh, temperature there. So we're gonna cover this for a bit and we'll come back and check on that and flip that in just a minute. Okay, I've turned these a few times and the sauce is reducing nicely and the internal temperature is at, okay, it's around 150, 160. Those are plenty done. So now I'll turn the stove off here. I'll take my sticky garlic pork chops and I'll put those over on the cutting board like that. Keep the sauce because we're going to drizzle that over the pork chops when we serve it. And I'm going to cover this with tin foil. Get another close look at that. Nummy num nums. Those smell really good too. Yep, so I'm just going to cover that in tin foil and let those rest while I get the rest of dinner, the mashed potatoes and the asparagus ready. While that meat's resting, I'm going to just reduce that sauce to a nice, thick, sticky consistency on the stovetop. Okay, now we'll put that sauce reduction, drizzle that over that, and Samuel's. That smells so delicious. Now it's time for my taste test. This is delicious. Time for my taste test. Mm, this is so good. 
You have to try this. This is so delicious. All right, here goes the taste test. Mmm. That is really unique and awesome. You have to try this. It's so good. So that was sticky garlic pork chops. The whole meal was done in 30 minutes. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out. Thank <laughs> you.